Russian president outlined the priorities for the country, which is the defense of Russia's sovereignty and Russia's security. For that, Russia will be modernizing its military as well as the weapon supplies. Having said that, he stressed that there will be no financial limit on what the government could spend when it comes to the hardware and uh, other modernizational efforts for the Russian military. At the same time, he stressed Russian economy will not be militarized, so all that will be the smooth process that will not be taking place at the expense of the taxpayers. So what he also said was that NATO was something that Russia was fearing and that Russia had to respond to uh, because of NATO's continuous desire, as the Russian president has put it forward, to expand. So now, as there will be new ma members of Finland and Sweden, Russia says it will have to beef up its presence on the northwestern flanks of the country. There will be, according to the Russian defense ministry, also two new military districts created in the country, the one for Moscow and Leningrad. So all in all, we've heard Russia once again blaming the Western countries of starting this whole uh, special military operation, of forcing Russia to start its special military operation, rather. And also we've heard the Russian president saying that some of the most sophisticated weapons that have no analogs uh, worldwide will be coming on combat duty. Those are the Sarmas, the Avangard, for instance. Avangard is the uh, most one of the most sophisticated weapons that has been um, announced by the Russian president in 2018. This is something that is um, that is the weapon that is capable of flying at 27 times the speed of the sound and is impossible to be intercepted. So all in all, we've heard a very powerful message sent by the Russian president to the uh, uh, to the world, stressing that Russia will stick to the course that it has chosen.